Okay, students, so if you were assigned to do the direct variation lab on uh, Hooke's constant of springs, you're in the right spot. The directions you're watching now are going to give you some insight as to how you're going to take measurements during the lab. I do not do the whole lab in this video. It's just a couple of minutes of trying to get you acclimated how this system works. Okay? So hopefully you printed the lab and you're following along a little bit. And uh, it's real simple. You have a spring. This is at rest. Okay, there's no force on the spring um, except the cup. So now the cup is part of the system. So there's really nothing in the cup right now. Okay, it's just hanging from this dowel. And um, this level, you're going to use it right beside uh, the cup. And when we take our measurements, you're going to take your measurements from the top lip of the cup. Okay? So uh, at one point in the lab, it asks you to uh, measure the height. Um, the distance between the bottom of the floor and the top lip of the cup. So I just want to put a little piece of paper to go across. You can see here, um, this is 20 inches. And it may be different in class because I may not be hanging on these chairs. I may hang this across your desk. So you can't just write 20 inches in now. Um, again, just trying to show you how this works. Okay? So what we're going to do is when we put um, a force in this cup, on that kind of stuff, it's going to stretch the spring out. So we're going to use the level to find out the distance that this travels from 20 inches to know how far it's extending. Because what's going on here in Hooke's Law is that the force that acts on a spring varies directly to the length of the extension created by that force. Okay, so the thing that's getting related here is force and this thing extending. And to do this lab, we're going to use the most powerful force I know in the universe, M&M's. Yeah, good stuff. Okay. It says in the lab to, um, in part one, that you need to pick a uh, random number of M&M's. So here we have uh, six, five, five M&M's. You're supposed to pick between two and ten. You can pick two, you can pick ten. That's fine. I'm going to pick five. Okay. So I'm going to add this force of five M&Ms to the cup without knocking the level over. Okay, it's no big deal. The level back up it doesn't change it at all. This will want to bounce a little bit. Okay, if it's bouncing up and down a lot. You can save time by gently sort of supporting the bottom until it comes to rest. Okay. And then across the top lip again, over to the ruler, to within a sixteenth of an inch, and I think that's going to be something like seventeen and th seventeen and three quarters. Okay, all of that gets recorded in part one of your lab. Now, part two, pretty straightforward stuff from there. You use that data, and you're going to um, find the constant of variation and the equation of variation. Uh, from there in part three, you're going to make a, a graph, okay? So there's some directions there about doing the scaling. Be sure to read those. Part four, you're going to use that graph um, to uh, and the equation to make predictions. And then in the last part, what you're going to do is check your answers by coming back to this and sort of rerunning the experiment a little bit. So when you come back here and actually... Uh, take more measurements of things that you predicted with your equations or graph, it's a great opportunity for you to connect those two things and say, well, does my prediction by my graph um, or my equation actually, uh, is it actually accurate for something else that I'm hoping should happen if this mathematical concept really holds up? So uh, it's really good stuff. You're going to take data, use that data to make an equation and a graph. Use that equation and graph to predict other data, and then you're actually going to come back here and see if your predictions were correct by trying to make that data happen. Okay, so uh, hopefully this gave you some insight as to how this apparatus works and what we're going to be looking for in this lab so that we can really hit the ground running. There's going to be a lot going on in class, four or five different experiments, hopefully, and uh, I don't want to spend a lot of time on directions. So you being here and watching has really uh, saved a lot of time and chaos. So uh, hopefully it'll be a good feeling you come in and know exactly what to do. See you in class.